Hello, in this video we are going to do a clean install of Microsoft Windows Server 2019. The steps of Microsoft Windows Server 2019 setup is the same like Windows Server 2016. Before we start, we first need to make sure we have a minimum requirements to install Windows Server 2019. Minimum processor 1.4 64-bit Minimum RAM 512MB and 2GB for server with desktop experience installation option Minimum disk space 32GB DVD drive Also, be aware that if your computer has less than the minimum requirements you will not be able to install Windows 2019 correctly Insert the Windows Server 2019 portable DVD The server should be detected it and put from the disk Once we get press any key message Press enter or any key to put Wait for a while until the setup loads all necessary files The default value should be fine for now Next Install now Wait until it finishes loading This process may take a while Select the edition of Windows As shown Microsoft offer a core version of Windows Server 2019 which comes without a desktop and it's managed via PowerShell and Admin Center but there is also a desktop version available I will select standard with desktop experience that have full interface and all GUI management tools Tick I accept the license terms Select custom install Windows only as I will do a clean installation Here I'm installing it on the one partition I have here Next Start the setup Wait for Windows setup to copy and expand the files to the disk Set up a password for the administrator The setup is done We can log on for the first time as shown Control Alt Delete to log on Password Windows Server 2019 installed successfully Personalize to modify the screen resolution settings Yes, to allow your server to be discoverable by other servers in the network Resolution Keep changes Well Start menu Settings Applications and features As shown, the same like Windows Server 2016 Server Manager launched and you can add your rules Internet Explorer File Explorer Notifications area Task view to create multiple desktop New desktop Also use task view to switch between all desktop as shown And if you open any application in the first desktop Will not appear in the other desktop as shown
Finally, you can remove any desktop as you see. I hope you have enjoyed. Many thanks and see you in the next video.